Welcome back to my channel. Uh, the last time you guys loved um, the very smoky eye look. I'm very happy the you loved it. The deep smoky eye. The deep smoky eye look. This time we're not that deep, but uh, we are more economic. So this, I've decided to make it a very pocket friendly version. It's products that we can all go to department stores, uh, be it a Mac or a Bobby Brown or a, or a Lakme or, a, or economic brands. So it's easier for you guys. It's like uh, Elton cheaper. Like, <gasps> <laughs> I'm starting out with Body Shop's Face Mist. I like this product. It's really like a... Close your eyes. Really hydrates the skin. So I'm going to pump a lot of this under the skin. <laughs> okay, we put too much. But that's fine. Now, this is a sponge, uh, a wedge by Faces, the brand Faces. So it's really economical. I'm going to just first absorb the excess. Take her. See, actually, there's no real excess as such. It's really sitting on the skin beautifully. Adds a nice dewy texture. Or a damp texture as of now. Okay, so I've taken off some excess. Now, I promise it's going to be economical. This is Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush in the number, in the name Caramel, shade Caramel. I'm going to take, um, ooh, it's mousse, see, beautiful. So the pump, I'm going to take my sponge, dip it in this product. It looks like a lot, but that's because of the air infused in it. It's really not that much. I'm going to... Pat this all over her face. And just powder that under eye. Because I'd like to add some shadow to this look. So elevate the cheekbones a bit. Just a little bit. Take that into the temples. Deep coppery red. I don't know if this is copper actually. What is this? Yeah, it could be copper. Yeah, it's got gold reflex in it. Um, so it has a bit of shim sheen, which is nice, man. Right? See, it's quite nice actually. So, now the focus of this look is not like the last one where we've got a lot of product happening on the eyelid. It's more on the under eyes. We're really extending the smoke downwards and out, like as if it's just leaked from the eyes. I'm try and achieve it by using only this one palette by Bobbi Brown. It's called the Smoky Eye Palette. This dries up pretty quickly. It's a nice product, it's really black. I'm going to first use it as kajal. And don't worry about, uh, you know, painting within the hairs, in between the hairs. The lashes because that's fine we need that color over there i'm going all the way in and all the way out is black first i'm laying the brush flat down on her skin and gently back and forth back and forth just in case you're wondering how far in do i draw uh, the eyeliner on the top when you're looking straight in the mirror the um iris which is the round brown or blue or green part of your eye, you want to reach just the corner of your iris, not more. Don't go into, don't cross that line. So starting on the outside, you see Nidhi's iris is right there. Oh, That's I all. I didn't know that. Yeah. Geometry. Till the, till the iris there. And connect the bottom to the, oh, just about half an inch there. Now, that please. Place that there and just rub, 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 rub. Dardi, rub, rub, kardi, kime dardi. What? <laughs> hey, let's do. Dardi, rub, no. rub. Do it. You're going to do. Rub, rub, kardi. Move the hip. Chui, mui, chui, mui, chui. You have to know these songs, Nidhi. No, I do not. If you're going to be in the not. movies. I do not have to know these songs. See Nidhi being a prude. Okay, so we're going to blend that. Look up. So just blend that outwards. 
up and down. Uh, I'm going to go in with this lighter gray. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a darker gray, but it's much lighter than the black. Right? Load that up on the brush. Okay. And go over, look up please, the outside. Go over this with this gray. But again, I'm not using that gray all the way in. I'm just using it till the middle of the iris, say. Okay. Like that. But the one I'm using is matte. It doesn't have too much frost or shimmer in it. So go out. Work it till the iris. Because I want to soften that crease even more, I'm going to go in with this lighter shimmery gray. And also because I want to use all the product in this palette. I'm going with the shimmery, shimmery silver. Take out the excess. Greedy. And greedy, yes. And just blend that into the crease. There's a bit of a story happening. Um, so put that in the crease there, blend, 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 should I complete that? Not necessarily, not unless you want to, are you sensing a craving Shut to, com <laughs> to complete my sentences? Shut hmm. uh, I'm taking this white eyeshadow. Take the white, place it on that inner corner and blend. For those of you who are wondering why I'm ignoring the glittery silver, I'm going to use that also now. <laughs> no! Wait now a little bit. Why not? No, so I'm taking this. See, just in the corner, place that shimmer right there. The whole palette is useful. Just need to pout gently. And just dab that. Ultimately, I'm going to use a much paler lip, but this is just to stain the lip underneath, and bring out some color. To deepen the inside corners. And blend with the finger, soften it. Right? And also on the lower lashes, look at this. You see, you can see the pink coming through from underneath. It's not uh, as opaque as you think. Smile. So in the image, you see that the girl has beautiful freckles or like, you know, uh, sunspots. I, I love them. I know all the advertisements uh, today keep focusing, on, focusing on just flawless skin, don't have underarm hair, don't have crotch uh, <laughs> coloring. I mean, it's just odd. Different parts of the body need to have different tones of color. Um, and I love sunspot. It, it reflects somebody's personality that goes out and enjoys themselves and doesn't have to sit with a chhatri and sunscreen all day long. Yeah, fear has to have a limit. Um, stop being afraid of the sun. So, I'm going to teach you how to draw on freckles. Now, Nidhi, actually has freckles, freckles? Very, light. very light very light i think i don't know if you can see it in the in the close up but she does have i'm going to enhance them and draw on some more because it's caught sort of hidden under the makeup this is just a brown paint by makeup forever you can literally take any um liquidy brown i wouldn't suggest creams because they can wear off yeah but is there a certain texture that you need it's liquid? no this is as it's like a base it's like foundation yeah it's like foundation but it's a really dark brown so just so you know what I'm doing, you see the brown product over here? I'm going to take off the excess first on a tissue because you see those blob, blobs there? We don't want that, but you see these spot, we, this is what we want, right? So I'm going to take off the excess and now literally hold this lightly and stipple it over Nidhi's face like this, right? And on the nose because that's where the sun would hit, on the cheekbones and mostly on the forehead. See, some of them will be light and some of them will be strong. That's how we want it. I actually lived in the desert. I suppose you'd have freckles quite naturally. We did a shoot like this once, remember? Yeah, we With did. With freckles. It was only freckles all over, including the neck and the shoulder, bo shoulder area and everywhere. It was beautiful. I'm going to flash that image to you right now.
that was a shoot that Nidhi and I did once, just all about freckles. Uh, beauty shoot. Yeah, a beauty shoot. It was shot. That picture was shot by Rohan Shreshtha. You also bleached my eyebrows on that. Yeah, shoot. I also bleached her eyebrows out. So the, the, all that you saw were the freckles. I'm gonna add this hair band, just to give it that extra bohoness. Extra bohoness, Pocahontasy feel. I hope you like the, the makeup and uh, our model and the episode. Don't forget to actually like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.